Audio Jungle. There are two motives for reading a book. One, that you enjoy it. The other, that you can boast about it. Stupidity and unconscious bias often do more damage than venality. Language serves not only to express thought, but to make possible thoughts which could not exist without it. Do not fear to be eccentric in opinion, for every opinion now accepted was once eccentric. Of all forms of caution, caution in love is perhaps the most fatal to true happiness. The fundamental cause of the trouble is that in the modern world, the stupid are cocksure, while the intelligent are full of doubt. To fear love is to fear life, and those who fear life are already three parts dead. I would never die for my beliefs because I might be wrong. In all affairs, it's a healthy thing now and then to hang a question mark on the things you have long taken for granted. One of the symptoms of an approaching nervous breakdown is the belief that one's work is terribly important. Fear is the main source of superstition and one of the main sources of cruelty. To conquer fear is the beginning of wisdom. It is easy to fall in love. The hard part is finding someone to catch you. It is the preoccupation with possessions, more than anything else, that prevents us from living freely and nobly. Collective fear stimulates herd instinct and tends to produce ferocity towards those who are not regarded as members of the herd. No one gossips about other people's secret virtues. It has been said that man is a rational animal. All my life, I have been searching for evidence which could support this. The secret of happiness is to face the fact that the world is horrible, horrible, horrible. The infliction of cruelty with a good conscience is a delight to moralists. That is why they invented hell. Neither a man, nor a crowd, nor a nation can be trusted to act humanely or to think sanely under the influence of a great fear. The whole problem with the world is that fools and fanatics are always so certain of themselves and wiser people so full of doubts. Everything is vague to a degree. You do not realize till you have tried to make it precise. The greatest challenge to any thinker is stating the problem in a way that will allow a solution. Anything you're good at contributes to happiness. To be without some of the things you want is an indispensable part of happiness. Science is what you know. Philosophy is what you don't know. Sin is geographical. What is wanted is not the will to believe, but the will to find out, which is the exact opposite. Remember your humanity 
and forget the rest. Dogmatism is the greatest of mental obstacles to human happiness. Man is a credulous animal and must believe something. In the absence of good grounds for belief, he will be satisfied with bad ones. Life is nothing but a competition to be the criminal rather than the victim. A happy life must be, to a great extent, a quiet life. For it is only in an atmosphere of quiet that true joy can live. Is there any knowledge in the world which is so certain that no reasonable man could doubt it? How much longer is the world willing to endure this spectacle of wanton cruelty? Nothing is so exhausting as indecision, and nothing is so futile. Patriotism is the willingness to kill and be killed for trivial reasons. Conquer the world by intelligence and not merely by being slavishly subdued by the terror that comes from it. Boredom is therefore a vital problem for the moralist, since at least half the sins of mankind are caused by the fear of it. It is a waste of energy to be angry with a man who behaves badly, just as it is to be angry with a car that won't go. A sense of duty is useful in work, but offensive in personal relations. People wish to be liked, not to be endured with patient resignation. Mathematics, rightly viewed, possesses not only truth, but supreme beauty. One of the most powerful of all our passions is the desire to be admired and respected. Whoever wishes to become a philosopher must learn not to be frightened by absurdities. To be able to fill leisure intelligently is the last product of civilization. And at present, very few people have reached this level. Science may set limits to knowledge, but should not set limits to imagination. Few people can be happy unless they hate some other person, nation, or creed. Even if all the experts agree, they may well be mistaken. No nation was ever so virtuous as each believes itself and none was ever so wicked as each believes the other. The most savage controversies are those about matters to which there is no good evidence either way. Love is wise, hatred is foolish. Men are born ignorant, not stupid. They are made stupid by education. Most people would rather die than think, and many of them do. One must care about a world one will not see. The only thing that will help mankind is cooperation. Freedom of opinion can only exist when the government thinks itself secure. Philosophy from the earliest times has made greater claims and achieved fewer results than any other branch of learning. Never try to discourage thinking, 
for you are sure to succeed. Extreme hopes are born from extreme misery. The search for something permanent is one of the deepest of the instincts leading men to philosophy. We love our habits more than our income, often more than our life. The biggest loss in a person's life is the loss of time. The hardest thing in life is to know which bridge to cross and which to burn. A man is rational in proportion as his intelligence informs and controls his desires. He who does not like loneliness will never get freedom. A person can be called a fool if he does not change his mind. Belief in God and a future life makes it possible to go through life with less stoic courage than is needed by skeptics. The demand for certainty is one which is natural to man, but is nevertheless an intellectual vice. The good life is one inspired by love and guided by knowledge. 